Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer. I'm Nico. That's Nico and we are here to open our origin themed loot crates. I'm so excited. Me too. This month had a miniature collectible of some sort, like a, a figurine, or no not a figurine, a replica. That was the word they used. Yeah. Some sort of miniature replica. There's a piece of drinkware. It doesn't matter what month it is, I'm always excited for the loot crate t-shirt. It's true. It's true. And this month's t-shirt, wait we knew it, it's Mario. It's a Mario t-shirt from his origins in Donkey Kong. So I'm super excited. Yeah. about this. This box, of course, is already, once you see it, me have it. You can't get it anymore. Hopefully in the future they'll start sending to me earlier so that if you like it, you still have time to get it. But uh, for the time being, that's not the case. And the month that you would be purchasing right now, if you were to sign up for Loot Crate, would be build themed, right? Yeah. That's right. And it'll have stuff from Lego Dimensions, which Nick and I are old people, so we had to look that up. That's a video <laughs> game. And now I want it. It's like Legos and you build the Legos in real life and then they somehow translate into this video game that's like, I've played a lot of the Lego video games. I played, like, it's funny, I've still not actually seen the original Star Wars but I've played Lego Star Wars, so I totally know what <laughs> happens. I, to I totally know what happens. I also played uh, Lego Batman, and I played Lego Jurassic Park, which was my favorite one of all of them. So I kind of want to play Lego Dimensions now, because uh, there's going to be a Lego Dimensions item. There's also going to be a Batman item, which is very... Uh, curious for me because the Lego Batman movie came out this month, so I wonder if that isn't two items, but one item combined. I don't, dun, dun, dun. I don't know. That's just speculation. <laughs> There's also um, items Power from Rangers. Tetris and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and um, it is my understanding that the T-shirt is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So I'm friggin' pumped yeah. for next month. So if you are trying to get yourself a build-themed loot crate, I would really, really appreciate it if you used my code lootcrate.com/tradechat and code tradechat will get you 10% off. That's right. I, I used that's to watch. I used to watch Power. Rangers when I was little yeah. and like they would like m like morph into like their you know they'd have their suits on and then they'd fight bad guys but then like when there was like a big enemy they'd get they'd like summon their like mech things you know but even then like it was still pretty rare that they like actually consolidated all the mechs to make like the super mech and it was so exciting. Is it called a happened. megazoid or something like I that? Don't know. I feel like okay, so side note, I wasn't actually allowed to watch Power Rangers. <laughs> I was I watched it at friends' house, and this is the weirdest story, but I'm gonna tell it anyways because oh I'm me. God. But a vivid childhood memory of mine was my mom was gonna go buy a couch from someone that she saw in the newspaper, uh -huh. and she took me with her, and they had this super nice house, and the couch was the most 80s thing I've ever seen. It was like velvet black with like teal and pink and like oh white god. streaks oh of god, something all it. over yeah just ridiculous but it was this crazy big sectional couch and they had a little girl the same age as me and mighty morphin power rangers was on and i was like open mouth enamored at how cool it was it was an episode with a t-rex they were fighting a t-rex for oh some reason and i was just like six or seven year old me was like I want to watch this. I want to watch this so bad. <laughs> so like after that, I was like the most obnoxious like friend kid who every time I went to a friend's house, I was like, "Is Power Rangers on? Can we watch Power Rangers?" Because oh I gosh. always want to watch Power Rangers because my parents didn't let me. Because I don't even know why. There's no valid reason for that. But that was a story that I needed to share with you guys. But let's go ahead and get into this month's crate. I saw on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. No spoilers. Just that people said that this month was like really really good so Ooh. i hope you guys didn't overhype it for me because i'm very excited i have my handy dandy shanken knife i okay so can you open this for me i was i'm building a dollhouse which is such a nerdy hobby to have but like i glued a bunch of my fingers together on accident <laughs> <laughs> and like it involved fingernails as well so I like glued my fingernails to my fingers and the only way to handle that was to like clip my fingernails down Don't to non-existent <laughs> levels so I have like newborn infant baby fingernails, fingernails are right gone now. they don't they exist. no longer exist I mean I never have long nails to begin with like once in a while for an event or something I'll, I'll get fake nails but my nails like don't grow I have man nails I don't know or maybe I don't your nails grow uh, so let's get into this month's crate after all of that nonsense Oh, snap. I'm so excited. We have to do the t-shirt first. Well, I totally first. called what the replica was last month, by the way. Yeah. Um, T-shirt is amazing. We have to do the t-shirt first. T-shirt is amazing. This is just so fantastic. This is fantastic. awesome. This is the most classic t-shirt I think they've ever sent us. The original 8-bit yeah. Mario. This is the 8-bit Mario as he appeared in Donkey Kong, and it says, The original since 1981, which is older than me. I was born in 88. So yeah. this and it's very soft. It's like a it's very very soft. Yeah. Uh, it's I don't. You can't get a like anything. a more classic and iconic you know T-shirt than. Yeah, I agree. The eight bit Mario. This it's is just an awesome amazing. shirt. This is a really really cool shirt, and it's got the Nintendo seal of quality on it, so we yeah. know it's 
roll and it's officially licensed. This is a super nice shirt. This is like would, a, this is good. I don't know. Last month's was so good though with the Mr. Robot. This is a t shirt that I'm gonna wear what All I like to time. call on cool down. Like yep. as soon as it comes out of the washer, yep. it goes back on my body. Like you, have couple, <laughs> you have a Star Wars shirt that it's uh, like ev- Oh my god, you're wearing it's it. On. I didn't even know. <laughs> it's on. I didn't yeah, even this know. This is another one that's oh on my, cool down. Oh my god. I didn't even know you were wearing that. <laughs> Way to prove my point, Nico. Oh my god, that's hilarious. This yep. is an awesome shirt. Indeed. I was gonna say this is like my favorite shirt, but I don't think that's necessarily true because I loved the Mr. Robot shirt. I also loved the Negan shirt. Negan, this, yep, this, Negan for sure. The recent like six months worth of shirts have been awesome. Like really, really good. Yeah, Luke um, Crate's really on point. Stepping up the game. And also something shirt. about it reminds me of the Red Hot Chili Peppers logo. It's like the <laughs> circular words that are in red. I don't I don't know. So that is the first item in our Origins Loot Crate. This one I'm super excited about because maybe I'll find the clip of where I guessed it, but I had a feeling. Maybe I didn't guess it on camera, but I definitely told you. No, you did. You said his original shield that was not circular. It was the, you know, the more almost. Yeah. I think the word I used was yoop de doop <laughs> That's the official scientific term, but I, I don't know if I said it on camera, but I had guessed. I wonder if the shield is the replica this this uh this time around this is awesome oh my god wait a second is it weird to show my doll who would fit this perfectly oh this is cool this is awesome this is awesome and it's like yep. metal this is awesome it says it's a one to six die cast replica and it has a certificate of authenticity with it if you're interested in things like that i don't think my camera's gonna focus because i'm super far away today that's a long story but it's just, <laughs> just the thing and it just says that this certifies the company collectible is an authentic prop replica produced by the efx incorporated under the official license from marvel entertainment llc recreated using the original molds patterns digital files and reference from marvel studio archives this is an accurate scaled replica of the filming prop first scene in Captain America, the first Avenger. Wow. Each piece is manufactured from the highest quality materials and assembled and finished by hand. The copyright of Marble and EFX certifies its authenticity. There you have it, wow. folks. Wow. Okay, so what's cool about this, right, is I think this is an upcoming movie, right? This Captain America, the first Avenger. That's, I mean, that's Chris Hemsworth. So, like, it's got to be a newer version. That's okay. who plays him, right? No. Crap. What's He's, his... Chris Hemsworth is Thor. No, that's Liam Hemsworth. Or Liam Hemsworth. No, that's Chris Hemsworth. That is Chris. What's this guy? Liam's He's here. also a Chris though, right? Uh, I think so. I don't, I don't, I can't come up oh, with this. Oh, come on. You can't call me out on not knowing. No, I'm sorry. Names. I just, no, I don't know. I don't, I really don't. Evans. His name's Chris Evans. Yes. Oh, well done. Thank well you. done. I thought we were going to, I you. thought we were fl- like floundering in the water there no, for a second. But no, and you know what? Us. You know what? Don't be offensive to flounders. They can swim. <laughs> they can swim just fine. So this is amazing. This is super cool. And it's got like, you could actually, if you had a model, like I have a doll. I'm not going to go get her right now, but I totally have a doll that's a one to six replica of a person, which is kind of creepy now that I say it out loud. <laughs> but this would fit her perfectly. So that's probably where that's going. Now I'm going to have to make her a Captain America cosplay. Yeah, that's really cool. So the next thing in our crate is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are called Geek Tikis, and it says collect them all. Wait, does yours say who yours is in the front? Oh, mine is Raphael as well. Oh, so we both got Raphael. Is he your favorite because he has the the sword shank things? No. Who's your favorite? We Um, just had this conversation the other day. What was this? It's a shot glass. It is. They're shot glasses. They're stackable. Show the people how it's stackable. They're stackable. Oh, that's going to be a horrible Ta-da. sign. That's amazing. These are amazing. This is the coolest. Dude, I feel like the moment we started back with your shot glass collection is the moment that shit really got We just lit started, in our life. like, just, yeah, shot glasses just started getting thrown at us from every direction. This is amazing. Which reminds me, side note, this month's Loot Crate DX, we did film and I have it. But due to um, a computer borking issue, which I don't want to talk about right now, I was not able to upload that in time. So I'm mm-hmm. going to combine this month's DX and last month's DX, and you'll be able to see what we got, because I'm pretty sure we got shot glasses. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, this is the coolest thing ever. I already want the rest of these. I want the rest of these. Like, I, I want to have, have all look, of them. And they have, look, they have, what's his name? A shredder. The, yep. the, yep. Shredder. I wish they had some of the, I wish they had, like, the rhino. What's his name? The, um, his hard... Hard knocks? No, that's not it. No, no, I <laughs> know it. it. I know it. Oh my God! What the f- is the rhinoceros I'm, name? I'm the rhinosaur, sad. Rhinoceros I'm name. sad that they have Shredder and not Splinter. Yeah, well, Shredder's the bad guy, isn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah, so, like, I'm, th- like, I wish they had Splinter, and I also wish, God almighty, if I can't think of this rhinoceros's <laughs> name. Shredder is not the rhinoceros. The rhinoceros's no. name is Hard Hit, Heavy, Heavy Hitter, Rocksteady. Is that his name? Is his name Rocksteady? Maybe. I don't even know. Oh, my God. No, I think it is. <laughs> Hold, please. We have to consult Hold, Dr. Please. Google. These Let's, are, we need to confirm I'm our hypothesis. I'm pretty sure his name is Rocksteady. Rocksteady. Wow, not rich steak. Good try, Google. Rock steady. Teenage. Drum roll, please. Yes! His name is Rock Steady. <sighs> and the crowd wait, goes wait, wild. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get into why that's ridiculous. I was allowed to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I was not allowed to watch Power Rangers. Well, there you have it. No idea what that was all about. <laughs> all right, so... One isn't any more violent than the other. I know. Like, there's really no apparent reason why I would one and not the other. I have no clue. I think it's because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was, like, way out in left field, and it was, like, whatever. Yeah, they were, like, big turtles. (laughs) Yeah, whereas Mighty Morphin Ninja Turtles, they were kind of... Ninja Turtles. That would be an awesome crossover! That would be hilarious if the turtles were just, like... Crawling along, crawling along, and they see bad guys, and they morph into, like, large turtles with That'd weapons. Be amazing. Okay, so Mighty Morphin Ninja Turtles isn't a thing. But Mighty Morphin Power Rangers involved actual magic, mm-hmm. and I had very religious parents for a small period of time. <laughs> um, so they were, like, anti-anything magic. Uh. So I think that's why I wasn't allowed to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but let me tell you about my rebellion. <laughs> I watched so much Power Rangers at friends' houses. This is amazing. This is, like, one of the best Loot Crate items we've ever gotten. I'm not yeah. kidding. I'll show some close-ups of it, too, so you guys can see it a little bit I'm better. definitely going to be, like, getting the rest of the collection. <laughs> getting sure. lit afterwards. They, do you know if they're... They're not random, because they print it the who you have on the box, right? No, so you they're not random. To... And I don't think this... This one is a Loot... Okay, so this one says it's a Loot Crate exclusive, but how would they have Raphael be a Loot Crate exclusive? Is he a variant, maybe? Maybe we just randomly got the same one. That would be a bummer. No, it wouldn't. You would be able to find him on eBay and stuff for sure. Yeah. Or they would be in the loot, loot Crate has a store outside of like what is in their crates that you can buy. Like it's like Loot Crate gifts or Loot Gifts or something like that. Mm. And if these are all exclusive, that's where they'll be. All right. And they're like normal price. A lot of times stuff goes on sale there and you can get pops for like two or three dollars. I'm not even kidding. Wow. It's the best. That's a good deal. It's the best thing ever. This is amazing. Um, the final big item in our crate. Whoa. 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 This is uh, edition number one. I mean, obviously this isn't like a super old version, but it's a reprint. It is my, from what I'm gathering, this is a reprint of the June 1938 issue number one of Action Comics. And there is inside the plastic a certificate of authenticity from DC. So this is like, I feel like this could be a real collector's item. Like sometimes the Loot Crate comics are like not as exciting or they're like a variant that's almost like cheesy because it has loot crate on it you know what i mean like it takes away but this is like it looks like it's just an exact replica of action comics number one to the point where even the paper that is used yeah it's like newspaper does not feel like the paper you get nowadays like yeah this is really cool authentic down to the materials that were used yeah i like want to open it but i don't want to open it simultaneously same it's such a conundrum it's such a conundrum but this is very 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 cool so oh I'm, oh, the pin! I actually really love the pin. Okay, hold on. I'm going to open mine. The pin this month is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And as always, the loot pin will unlock something digital online. Let me see if I can quickly browse what we have going on here. Tell me more. Tell me. In bar list. Thanks. Oh, comics. Oh, oh it's numbers. You get five comics. Oh, if that's cool. If you go cool. to lootcrate.com and you sign into your account, the digital loot this month that's part of the pin is the first five, uh, numbers one through five of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics. Yeah, and this pin is like really cool. If you didn't pick it up when you when she held it up to the camera, the actual it's pin a sewer is a sewer grate. Yeah, it's a sewer grate. It's, it's really cool. The, it's like a manhole cover. The original logo over top of it. Really cool. This is really cool. Yeah, this does say... Okay, so I opened this up to see more about this action comics, and it says... Um, bah, 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 we salute this cultural icon with an authentic replica reprint of the Action Comics number one, printed on original newsprint stocks with the original ads. 
Wow, I really want to open one That's of them. That's really cool. It has cool. all of the original ads from 1938. That's really cool. Wait, side note. I have a really cool story about about um, comic books. So my grandma was obsessed with comic books when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. And they were like not a little girl thing, but she like right. didn't give a crap because she's my grandma. And her brother liked to draw comics. And he like, not interned, I don't think that's the right word, but he like worked for like the local newspaper comic artist who ended up going on to like work for DC. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, that's awesome. Original like newspaper Go to the print. back or front so we can see the ads. Some of them are black and white. Some of them are color. That's awesome. Oh, look, look the on the back. On the back, yeah. A dollar fifty for a for like a replica plane. Yep, this is Stardust. Is that Fred Astaire? That's a movie, right? I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Whoa, that's really cool, though. Yeah, that's... I, I'm I'm impressed that, like, they even had, like... I don't know. Like, that they were even able to do this on original, like, newspaper stock with all the original stuff. Like... Whoa. $25 cash prize. Here's how to win. You don't have to be an artist or a cartoonist. Turn to the feature Chuck, Do Chuck Dawson and you'll notice that it's printed in black and white. Now take out your crayons and color the first page, the title page of Chuck Dawson. Then when it's colored to the best of your ability, tear out the page and put it in an envelope and send it to the magazine. A cash award of $1 each will be submitted to the best 25 pages. Wow. That's, That's really so cool. cool. This is really cool. And that probably contributed to why there are probably not a lot of, like, authentic uh, of these left because people ripped the pages ripped out. Ripped the pages <laughs> out. I did. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I just had one of those moments. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Does this have a price on it? No, because this isn't. It actually does say on the inside that it is a 2017, like, replica. Yeah. Um... I wonder how much the these sold for in, what was it, 1938? 1938. You know, uh, it, to offer a $1 these prize, These all entries must be submitted by midnight, June 6th, 1938. That's 50 years and one day before I was born. That's, That's crazy. crazy. This is really cool. This is really, 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 really cool. There so it is. So here is the title page of the Chuck Dawson feature. That you had to color. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. I can't believe how like oddly nostalgic I got about something that wasn't particularly nostalgic to me. All right, what does this do? Hold, please. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is the coolest and most useful loot crate box that we've ever gotten. This turned into like, you know, you put them on your desk and you can put like comics and books or like notebooks, whatever you need. That's really neat. This is like, and it's this, like, this is the people weren't wrong. This whole box was really, really good. Really good. Yeah. This was a phenomenal loot crate. So if you are interested in next month's, I you know I was thinking while I was building this too, it's like, I thought next month's theme was bald. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm elderly. If you're interested in next month's loot crate, which will feature build themed mm -hmm. loot, uh, yep. there'll be stuff from Lego Dimensions, Batman, Tetris, and Power Rangers. Pow Why do I always forget Power Rangers? And the Power know. Rangers thing is a t shirt. So yeah. if you're interested in that, lootcrate.com slash trade chat, use code trade chat, and you'll get a discount and you'll be supporting our show, my show, whatever. And we thank you. And we thank you. So I am going to go. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing this month was. Let me know if you think that this is the best loot crate box ever because I kind of think it is. I kind of think it is. The only one that could be argued as more useful was um, like. Two or three years ago, there was a loot crate that was play themed and you got a pair of dice and then the box was when you unfolded it a board for a game and oh, the yeah. dice were for the game. Yep. And that was really clever too. But this is, this is awesome. I'm really impressed with the comic. 
Yeah. And the t-shirt. The t-shirt just um, as a reminder. And honestly, the ninja the shot just, glasses were awesome yes, too. Yes, the t this was the t-shirt. Just everything was really good and then, and then the, the the awesome the, replica the shield replica, from the original Captain America. The shot glass. And then I just dropped it, but there's the pin too. So yes. awesome loot crate this month. We're going to go. I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful day and etc. Yeah. We're going to go again. <laughs> we love you all. You're in our hearts. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.